Hey guys, what if here, and welcome to NASCAR Thunder 2004 for the Rookie Championship Challenge. Basically, this challenge is was created by Dale Reynolds back in 2018. He uh, basically did a season trying to win a championship as a rookie on Legend difficulty, 10% race length, no assist. He was able to pull it off, and it was disgusting. So he offered this challenge to anyone to try it and I didn't see anybody uh, really posting anything about it um, now I know why because I was testing this off camera and um, it's going to be really fucking hard I don't think it's going to be possible I don't think I'm going to be able to really kind of I might be able to match him in some races but surpassing him I don't think that's going to be a possibility it's just he was way too good so this is more or less just seeing how close we can get to his you know numbers so this is where we're going to go with 36 races, legend, all this other stuff. So we're going to go with that, create a car. We already modified one off camera, so I already have one in mind ready to go, which is this one, which was suggested to me years ago by the legend and bro NASCAR Nixon. It's a nice looking car, so we're going to go with that. So um, we're going to put our team name here, which I put a lot of thought of. And I thought, you know, what other way? to uh to have our team name be something that would take a lot of challenge and it's called well you can't see because the face game's in the way big ego we need a big ego to to run this challenge so that's what we're gonna go with and then we got our name which that's not really all that interesting to now obviously with this we can't put 1995 because then we'll be eight years old racing in the field which Really wouldn't make sense, so we're just going to leave it in 1978 so our driver's like 25, so yeah. Car, we already kind of did all that off camera. Colors, we're all good with that. Save our changes. Now we're going to sign our sponsors, which obviously we're just going to go with the highest ones that are available. Ooh, Hills Bros with 63,000. Alright, I'll go with that. So we got Hill, uh, Hills Bros as the primary, secondary, uh, that's 52,000, 47,000. Ooh, okay. I guess Easy Care will be the go-to one. And we got Associates. Uh, let's see, what's the most expensive one? Or at least, the, like, what's the best one that pays out? So that's 42000 that's 33000 I guess Easy Care it is. <laughs> Which we should be able to, we should be realistically able to accomplish all these sort of goals. So we'll go with Hills Bros again, just because. Is that their logo too? Like the, the thing? I, interesting. Okay, I didn't expect that. Um, driver, uh, what's our best one? Uh, I guess we're just going to be the easy care car. <laughs> like 90% of the car is easy care. <laughs> and then we're going to sign our team, which, again, that's not going to be anything too interesting. It's basically just going to be the first one that they give us in the options here. So, um, yeah, we'll do that real quick. Alrighty, we got all the builders and our crew down. So now we'll just type... Don't tell me I fucked this up somehow. No, I... How do I... How do, leave it to me to somehow get baffled on this. Even though I've played this game since 2000... Well, not since 2004, but... A long time. And even recently, just for the series. And I still find a way to make the menus difficult. I am so sorry. But we got the Daytona 500. And... Yeah. So, the big thing... Get our stuff situated. We're not going to worry about tire wear, tire grip. That's not anything we really got to worry about. So we're just going to pick the lowest one. Engine, naturally the highest power one. And body, we don't got to worry about downforce. We do got to worry about drafting. So we're going to go with the best one possible, which is a 53. And that's a 52 and all that stuff. So we're just going to jump into qualifying. And this race is so insanely important to just finishing well to not only get a lot of money from the race, but then we can start... Um, Adding, you know, uh, buying like the shop editions, getting a, uh, our engine, chassis, and body stuff, like starting to like overhaul that. So we got we got to do well. Dale and this originally got second, so we got to try to match that. I don't think we're gonna be able to win. That's gonna be out of the cards. I I, I think. So um, yeah, and setup it's the same that he did in his series. So if you want to find it, you can go and look at it, but. We're going to jump into qualifying. I got to go into sweat mode, so I'm going to focus. Off turn four. First lap is a 51.4. We should be arranging right around a 50.1. 
that's what I would like, and that's gonna be oh, 149. Okay, 17th. I I'll, I'll take it. I'll take that. We're on the inside line, which is good, and we're gonna do the duels now again. It's kind of a gamble doing this because if we finish worse, then we'll lose spots. So um, I guess we'll see who's in the actual duel. Duel. Okay, Kenny Wallace is there. Okay, that's a free spot. Don't know where we're going to be starting, though. Okay, we got Burden, we got Nadu, Rusty, we might be able to pass. I'm not really sure. So the starts, we got a shift at 100 miles an hour, and then 153. From what, that's what Dale said. Now, again, the biggest thing in this race is to draft as much as possible. I don't know why I picked Waltrip there. That was weird. And try to hang on for dear life. It's just really hard when the car just doesn't have any speed. No, it's not, Crew Chief. Ooh, okay, block. Okay, with that got that to work. Just get draft from Burton. Try to get by Kenny. That's because that is a spot. I don't want to lose that pack in front of me, though. If I can help it. All right, we got by Kenny. That's good. Up to P8. And now we'll have Bobby to kind of give me a little bit of arrow push behind me, which should help theoretically, but don't know if he'll be a... No! Oh, God. Okay. Whew. Okay. Let's just chill for a bit. Oh, God, I can't block both those lanes. I, I just can't. The, the runs were just... It was just too great, and now I... God damn it. And this is why I wanted to keep Gordon behind me, or people behind me as much as I can, just because... We, we just couldn't catch him. <laughs> if he just gets by me, then there's nothing I can do. So. Oh, damn. I don't know, it's just, this challenge is going to be so insanely hard, because we're already, we're on a bad note. Like, he got sixth, I think, well, one car blew up in his, we kind of got a little bit lucky on that front, but, yeah, this is not really where we win, uh, need to be. We're, I, I feel like we're, we've already lost the challenge before it even really began. Well, that was uneventful once we got back to ninth. I, that's already a spot worse than where we qualified, so that's not... Not really where we need to be. Figures Gordon just casually just, I don't know, whatever. We'll try to do something for the 500. I'll be amazed if we're actually going to be able to pull off a second place. I just, I can't see it. We've already started up on a bad front. So, I don't know. I think you're going to be starting 18th, I think. Uh, no, 17th. Okay, well, I thought it would be worse. Um, maybe they don't do that? I don't know. I, I learn, I, I'm still learning stuff in this game. But we're just going to jump into it. Elliot and Jimmy are on pole. Now, Jeff Green's usually... His AI is usually good, so I don't think we got to worry about his, you know, his performance. I saw Mark in the back. What is that? That rhymed, too. I didn't even think of that. All right, well... Our... Pretty much our fuel plan is pitting on lap... 6, 13, and 20. That's going to be the uh, the plan we're going to go with. I'm thinking maybe that'll work if we just undercut them. Even if we have no one to draft with. That's all I can think of that might help us out. So far a decent start, but Gordon just kind of pulled away from me. The field stacked up or something there. That was really weird. That helps me out a ton. That's, that's the kind of luck we need. I don't really have anywhere to go with it, though. Oh, wait, no, Bird's going to... All right, I'll take it. That might be a spot. I don't know why I'm going off the track though, but thank you, Johnny, for pushing me. Never mind, he just went to the he just went all by himself on the high side. Wow. Wow, I see. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay, we're clear. Get back in line, draft, draft, and, and and more draft. All right. Well, we lost the draft with Burton. We got Benson, which I we're gonna let him go. If I let Gordon go, he's just gonna pull away. But I think we can get away with letting Benson go by, and we could draft him. I think he might be just fast enough. But not too fast to the point where I can't draft with them. I need them to catch me though, a little bit quicker, though, because we can't be more than six seconds back from the leader before the first stop. So, um, ideally, that's where I would like the Delta to be. Cause that's what Dale said. And, yeah, okay, they caught me. Now I just got to find a way to bend for, like, Benson to get by me, which probably just me letting him go by on the outside just because the AI can really get a good run up there. And if we block going to the inside, then... 
everything will be all, you know, peachy keen, as the youngsters would say. Is that, is that a thing? I don't really know. But we are halfway there to our pit cycle. I'm at even letting off the thrall a little bit, just so Bedskin can get his bitch ass by me. Alright, good. Now we'll just draft with him, and I'm praying he's not too fast, so we can just kind of stay behind him and not lose too much time. Wow, Gordon's so fast that he's just going to be able to get... I wasn't even really paying attention to him. I was trying to make sure I didn't... Um, what's the word I'm trying to find for it? I was trying to make sure I didn't uh, get into that, like, air bubble thing. If I got too close to him, I would lose, like, miles per hour. So I was trying to avoid that, and I didn't know Gordon was just that fast. But we're going to be pinned next time by. I'm hoping doing this will work. I think Dale did every seven laps. We're kind of breaking the breaking the rules here a little bit even though I didn't really have rules to pit exactly when he did so I don't know what I'm really talking about but Gordon I don't know <laughs> but we'll be pinned next time by that sh I, I like to hope that that'll work out but I, I don't know I don't really know what changed but we're keeping up with Gordon in this run don't make a lot of sense to me he did that little AI thing where he looked like he was gonna I think that's a sign he's going to pit, so we're going to probably pit with him. We're just going to take right side tires in this stop. We can barrel it down pure very aggressively, so we could be able to get away with that a little bit. We'll stop right as we pass the scoring pylon thing on the left. And... Whoo! 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 Okay. Oh my god, barely got in there. Right side tires, and then that's it. Okay, the estimate was like 9.6. 11.4 for, for rights. Good lord. But we do... Uh, we actually beat Rusty out of Piro. That's... I don't know where that's going to place us when everything cycles through, but we are the first of the, uh, the cars that left Piro, and I didn't shift up to third right at 100 miles an hour. Son of a bitch. This does make me... This makes me wonder. How many cars can we pass? Because we are the first of that first group that pitted. I don't know. But we were running about 16th before. Oh, there's a lot of... I heard a lot of clunking and clanging. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna be... Eh. The thing is, Dale got second in his, and he was able to upgrade a lot of stuff for finishing second. Now, I did some stuff off-camera. It looked like third. We could still probably get away with it. But after that, I don't really know. We are gonna cycle into fifth. Not bad, but... Yeah, we're still not good enough to really get to Dale, though. Though We are catching Ricky Rudd. We do got cars behind me. I like to think maybe we can... I don't know. Whoever is leading is pulling away, though, so that's unfortunate. All right, fifth assault we'll be able to do until we pit on lap 13 and maybe gain those spots from that. I don't know. All right, this is going to be a very big gamble, but I think we're going to let Sterling Marlin go and try to draft with them. I, it may not even work, but it's all we can really do. We're just going to keep losing time if we just keep, you know, blocking. Um, it's it's worth trying. Uh, I mean, I it's just. I, it's just, I don't know. We got we got to try something to try to minimize the damage. Ooh, Rusty. Okay. All right. Marlon's just pulling away, so... That plan didn't fucking work. Oh, somebody blew up. Is it for position? No, of course not. I'm pinning this lap. Really, nothing's happened since I've been in sixth. Though we are only about two or three seconds back from Marlon, so we might be able to make it, make it back. I don't know. But yeah, it's, that plan really didn't work. I should have just kept him behind me. But he's not pitting, so we do got that juicy undercut on him. Just throw it down pit road. 70 miles an hour. Whew! Okay, no tires. We're not going to put a full tank in, not repair damage. And see if we can gain maybe one or two more spots. I, I don't know. It's going to be a... Oh, 9.4. Okay, they beat their estimated time. That's good. Good job on the pit crew for doing that. They actually, we're able to nail it. And now we just gotta just see where the cycles is out. I like to think we'll be able to get fifth, but maybe not anymore. Do a little bit of cheeky block in here. We're just gonna put Junior and Waltrip. <laughs> gonna hold them up a little bit. I think they are gonna be pinning this lap, though. So I don't know if that's really gonna be holding them up, but anything to slow them down to better my chances of maybe gaining a free spot. I don't know, it's worth a shot. 
but yeah, I don't know. I'm just really hoping we could pull a top five out because I I know he got I was able to get away with finishing third and still being able to upgrade everything I need to match with Dale did, but I don't know what fifth will be. I don't think fifth will cut it. I, I I'm just not totally sure. Now we'll see where this puts us out once everything cycles through. It's gonna be close. We might be able to get to fifth. That's my only assumption. I would like to uh, that's sixth. Marlin's way up there, so I, yeah, as I was thinking, fifth is all we're gonna really be able to get, I bet. So, I mean, that's fine. We just gotta play a lot of blocking games till the end, which, don't know if that's gonna work. But we'll get a little bit of draft from Marlin. Make the pass. Yeah, we were barely able to get by him. Oof. Cutting it way, really close on that, but... We got by him nonetheless. Now we just got Marlin to worry about, which is just a single car, so it really shouldn't be too much of a problem to hold them off. But I'm really... Once it gets, like, two or more cars, then it's going to start to be a little bit more of a problem. Nope. Nope. So something I was noticing. We're going to be running out of fuel on the front straightaway. Um, yeah, that's a bit of a problem. It's a little bit of a problem, though, again, we got only one car to block. We should... Mm. Ooh, almost nailed it. Especially... Oh, that's oh, that's even more horrible to say that with Marlin. I'm, I'm sorry. We are going to be... Oh, we're going to be cutting it so close. <laughs> Maybe that's why Dale pit on lap 14 and it took not, a, like, a full tank. Oh, boy, this is going to be... This is going to be really awkward off turn four. All right, block one more time. Okay. Okay, we just got block. Oh, here comes Rusty. Rudd. Oh, Bill. Oh. oh. Oh, I'll take it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus. I didn't know we cut it that close. Good Lord. There weren't very many lead changes. Ooh. I will take it. Wow. I mean, we... Okay, we got a million. Okay, we, we should be okay with that. We should be able to get everything we need just on that finish alone. Dale Jr. led every lap, including even during the pit cycle. And he started fifth? What the hell? Okay. Wow, what a tryhard. <laughs> DEI 1-2. And then, oh my god, it's the reverse of the 2001 Daytona 500 if they actually, if Dale was third. It's, oh my god. And then 2 plus 1 is 3, and it's like, oh my god, the conspiracy theorists are going to be going absolutely bonkers with this finish. Wow. Well, we were able to get a top 5. Barely, but we got it nonetheless. And now, we'll start adding in stuff to our shop edition. So, first off, what Dale did, he went with the chassis shop. We're going to go with that 750, and we're going, to start, we're going to start overhauling stuff. Now, it should we should have enough money to do it. I'm not positive, but we're going to be pretty close, if I can remember correctly. So, that will improve the durability, and we might be a little short. I'm not sure. Overhaul that, only that will up the efficiency just a little bit. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have enough for the body. I think we're going to be a little bit short. 81k, I don't know, yeah, we're 19,000 short. All right, well, then we'll just repair that normally then. Well, that's unfortunate. But we got pretty close to everything that Dale did in terms of the R&D, so we got that on our side. And we got Rockingham, which we might be able to pull, might be able to finish well there too. That one's going to be really tough as well, but I guess we'll have to, to see. But we were able to at least get a top five and, and everything. So we're going to save our progress. And then we'll go on to Rockingham.